Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Cinder News Network, a poker podcast driven by a poker passion. First episode of 2023. I'm your host, Cinder Litton, and I have my co-host, Pyro the Cinder Ace. Hello. And Martin slash Perry. Hey guys, I'm still alive. <laughs> well, it's a new year, so I guess we all have to be alive. <laughs> yeah. You have to see the new year. Especially since this is the year of the rabbit, and <laughs> yeah, we'll make it Cinderace. We all know what that means. <laughs> Cinderace here. Just leave it at that. Yep. <laughs> so, um, so in the past we did have a few technical issues, but we were able to resolve that thankfully quicker than we hoped, and we're excited to be recording this podcast for you guys again. And a uh, quick note: I was gonna do more of the like the highlight stuff. Uh, I'm going to call it Cinder News Highlights, but I'm still working on that. It's a bit more complicated than I thought it would be, especially since I am pretty pressed for time. I'm full-time, pretty much full-time at work right now, but once I get back to school, it's going to be back to, you know, back to business, so I'm putting double the work. Excuse my rant. High school starting tomorrow. I'm not excited about that. Oh, no. No. Ah, that's not fun. When do you start again, Martin? I already did. Oh, oh boy. Oh, okay. That would be a little late. Uh, I really Actually, do not want to go back to school. I still got about two more weeks. Ah. Uh, I still during finals. Yay. I don't like the fact that some schools like just wait until after winter break to do finals. It's- yeah. Neither of my teachers like it either because apparently my school is one of the only ones that, act- that still do finals after break for some reason. <laughs> Not fun. Yeah. So I I do mine right before winter break, so I can get the stress. Oh, yeah. oh, I know you'll get there. You'll get there. <laughs> and Hopefully. I, yeah. So as usual, we're gonna go through our normal routine. After our little, you know, updates, we're gonna cover stuff from the start of this year instead of co- covering stuff over Christmas because it's already over. There's zero. There's zero reason to mention it. Yeah, everything from the start of the new year, we'll cover that. And then we'll just explain where we've been, maybe why our channels have been pretty quiet. Up to you if you want to take that guess. And then we'll get into, yeah, you saw it on the title of the, the video, the, the the episode, the title of the episode. You know that we're doing a Q&A. <laughs> we'll do that later on. Anyways, with that in mind, uh, let's get into our games department. Go ahead. Okay, guys, let's see. Over in our games, we got a new, uh, a new hardware for Cinderace. It's pretty lit. Pretty adorable. Finally! It's uh, Hero Cinder style. And for Cafe Remix, we got Ho, Shiny Magic Carp, and Pichu all coming in, in soon. And Master CX, Shiny, uh, Shiny Green Ninja is available in the lottery. And for Go, Love of its heart, Community Day was uh, is on uh, the twenty first of this month, aka January, and Kecleon is making its debut soon. All right. Next up, we have our anime department. Go ahead. So, to become a master begins this Friday. Pokemon Diamond Pearl series is on Pokemon TV. So yeah, that's cool. I've been watching some of that actually when I on my spare time. I haven't yet. I should go watch that. It I can understand why <clears throat> it's pretty iconic because a lot of people say like out of all the series, it's one of their favorites. Like if not the favorite, I know the the favorite's probably Kalos. Right? Okay, that was actually the first uh, Pokemon show I ever saw. Was the Diamond Pearl anime? Nice. So, I th- I guess it's important for to me for that reason, even though I haven't really watched it much. Yeah, and I think that's like where the whole like you know. Don Don like just became like a focal point. Don's like a focal character, especially in Journeys. Not, but not until later. Yeah. Though. though Journeys is basically fan service, so exactly. It's not Sword and Shield the series. It's fan service the series. Yeah. <laughs> Even though I kind of wish we saw more of like Sword and Shield. Like what the heck? Yep. We'll talk yep. about that in another episode, I think. But and that's for another episode. Mm-hmm. Like so many Pokemon didn't even make it. Yeah. Well, they did make it, but they were incredibly shoehorned, if you remember that one episode. Oh, Boltund yeah. didn't even appear once. Sad. Where's Boltund? Okay, I eat my own words then. 
<laughs> Where's all the gym leaders? Like some of the gym leaders aren't even in it. Yeah, it is a Not shame. Not cool. It, yeah, because Journeys is such a missed opportunity. Yeah, even though I loved it, like there's a lot of things I'm angry about. Mm -hmm. Especially as a Galar fan, like seeing Galar be like, like not really shown much, what kind of was annoying. Yeah, we'll have to wait for the uh, the blah, 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 Scarlet Violet series, the the new the new one that's being com the completely new pilot. Like, all right, cool. That's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be bizarre, bizarre not seeing Ash. Yeah, it is. It is kind of bizarre. Like, I guess we can touch up on this really quick, because like it took me off guard. Like, I ne I knew Ash was leaving, but like we just never knew when. And whenever it was, I think it was inevitable that it would catch literally everyone off guard because Ash is like pretty much the character everyone grew up with in the anime. Yeah. So it is a bit hard. I, I see people. why they did it, because what what is left for Ash to to uh, accomplish in the TV show? Mm -hmm. And now he's become a Pokemon master, so I think now was a good time to do it. Despite again, Pokemon Journey having uh, Pokemon Journeys having obvious flaws. Sorry, I can't English right now. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> yeah, he won the world championships in a lot of fans would say the most peak Pokemon episode to date. Oh yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Animation a budget went Put all it that on Netflix already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> I'm wondering how the English dub will turn out. I'm genuinely curious. We have to take it, mm -hmm. take a look at it. Oh yeah, we have Master Journeys coming on Pokemon TV slowly. For those who don't Finally. know, yep, I've been watching that because, of course, I was, particularly the uh, Cinderace episodes. Yeah, we we need we need to like like this. This should be our New Year's resolution for this podcast series: finish Journeys in review. <laughs> For sure, we or, need to do that. Or at least get through the first two seasons. At, at, or the first season. I'm not going to be too ambitious this time. Yeah. At least the first season. The goal is to review episode um, 48. Bingo. <laughs> then, all right. We'll jump off that wagon and get back into news. Uh, international news. We At the Japanese Pokemon Cafe. Why am I saying Japanese? There's only one in Japan. Uh, there's... New as Scarlet Violet starter theme dishes. They look like uh, at smoothies, I would imagine. Nice. And then bunch of manholes are coming up. We first got a Sandshrew and Baneri manhole in Totori City in Totori Pre Prefecture. And then Dialga and Alolan Volfix manhole in Higashiwa Town in Hokkaido. And then Executor manual in Miyazaki Town, Miyazaki Prefecture. And then after the Shiroshi castle was repaired, they replaced the Nicket manhole. Yes, there was a Nicket one pyro. Oh, man, why'd they replace it? Well, it, it's there was renovations going around that area. It was right next to a castle that was being repaired. Oh, okay. Probably did it just to, you know, make it make make sure it still looked neat even after the renovations. Okay. I can send a picture later. Yeah, I hope they put it back. Oh, they did. <laughs> okay, good. I thought they took it down forever, and I was like, no! no. I think it deserves attention. <laughs> and their last manhole is Bayleaf and Aromatis, which is kind of an odd combo, in my opinion. But Yeah. Those both have like, nothing to do with each other. Nothing at all. They're not even from the same region. Yeah. That is and why Aromatis? It's such a weird Pokemon. It's an interesting design, yeah. And that's located in Owaji Town in Hyogo Prefecture. And last but definitely not least, we have our merchandise news. Take it away. All right. So Pokemon Sending Cuties. Um, BW. What does that mean? Black, white. Oh, cool. Okay. Edition are coming to Japan. I really like Sending Cuties. I'm excited for these to come out. Um, Eng English Founders Day products released. Pokemon and P Sorry. Pokemon Pikachu and Gengar Squishmallows are out. And Pokemon Scarlet um TCG starters are out. Cool. I got the Sprigatito one. <laughs> nice. I cannot wait uh, for ga the Galar uh, Sitting Cuties to come out. That's going to be so long, though. You know the Cinderace one is going to sell out like crazy really fast because its popularity yeah. is skyrocketed. At least I already have a Cinderace plush and a life-size one. Like, But what I'm mostly you excited do. for in that case <laughs> yeah. is um, Boltund and, and Feeble because I need those two to complete my Pokemon team collection. Ah. Uh. And that'll be that'll be great because where's my Bolton and Thiefel plushies? <laughs> yeah, they they might they might 
get out there. I'm not sure if they'll do every single one. I'll have to double check this fact, but I don't know if they did every single Pokemon for all this Sinning Cuties one. Yeah, they did, actually. They did. Ah, okay. I'm not kidding, they do. No, I, no, I believe you. Though, <laughs> though I wish I could have gotten the Umbreon one way back when. Yeah, at least there's plenty of Umbreon plushies. That's all sold but out. What makes me annoyed is, is like when the ones of rare, of like rarely made merchandise Pokemon sell out because there's no other plushies available. That's the worst. It's a fair argument. Meow. Yeah. Like, again, don't mind that. It's like, all the Umbreon plushies available. That's sold out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They're always fair. sold out. I'm checking almost every day. So frustrating. Oh, okay. Though I've seen videos on YouTube, it's like, there's still plenty of them in Japan. Oh, of gosh. Of course, they don't restock it. International so Pleat. Oh, sorry, Martin. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Yeah, this is a recurring theme. Martin, just do it. I'm surprised that the life-size Paldeo uh, stars aren't on Pokemon Center yet. Oh, true. Yeah, that occurred. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a year, technically. The... Martin, you got yours already because you you went with a Mecha Japan. Yeah, it's shipping <laughs> <laughs> for who knows how long. Probably, probably a century. Just kidding. No, no, no. it's century. already on its way. <laughs> if I had to wait a century, I'd probably be getting another Lucario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loki, I want to come see that in person. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. I will send pics though. Well. Don't worry. Yeah. No. When I finish the Cinderace, I'm gonna do a video about it. I'm just like I'm having trouble finding the exact materials we I need. That's fair. To finish it. Yeah, and touching back on the Scarlet Violet, I I am planning on doing a video on that one. I know I said um, I know I said one more time in my last one with a card doping, but it'll be a skit to remember. <laughs> it'll be a skit to remember. <laughs> At least it'll fuel my large project that I'm working on. It's taking forever. Anyways, uh, let us move on. Where we have been, like, I, I've been keeping you guys up to date. It's just, I just haven't had much time for, like, actual video production because I'm just super busy. <laughs> and I just want to get better at drawing. Like, I tried out Uikawa style. That's a Sonic art style for an Umbreon. And it looked pretty sick. Uh, next to Cinderace, I got to try that one out. If it's doable. <laughs> Passing the baton now. Okay, should I go? Yeah. I've been just com doing community posts lately. I haven't been able to post my channel much, again, because of the same circumstances as usual. Uh, the computer actually broke. The glass broke. But luckily, it's still working and still usable. So, I'm, I've, I'm, unfortunately, I'm sorry if like, even the post posts um, happen less often. So, yeah. I don't know what to say other than that. And today I'm just tired. I'm sorry. You're fine. Personally, I don't think I've been up to much. I have started working on my second video, but y'all know how animation is. Yeah, I don't, it's push, the, I don't push these things out like hotcakes, but whenever I do, it's worth, usually worth the wait. I can assure that. Yeah. Also, sorry if I saw dead inside today. <laughs> it's fine. We're I'm all tired. tired. We're all we're all dead inside doing this. Man. <laughs> it's two hours. No, we later enjoy doing me. this. We're just tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Let's get into our Q and A, shall we? Yep. Let's start with general questions, ones that were sent for everyone. Uh, first. Actually, no, let's just do Nathan T29's questions. He sent in six of them. My goodness. <laughs> My goodness, wow. Keyboard happy, sir? Anyway, first question. Do you still play Pokemon Unite? And if so, what is your favorite Pokemon to play with? And what level are you in the game? I still play not often, though, because just a little time. Some of my favorite Pokemon to use, like, of course, Cinderace. And you kind of got the vibe. And then... Also, Absol and Glaceon. I'm getting used to their playstyles. Absol helped carry me, which I will touch on later through another one of our question submission users. Okay, so I still play Pokemon Unite. I haven't been able to play it much lately because my Switch needs to update. 
and I don't have much space on my Switch, unfortunately. Um, my favorite Pokemon to use are, of course, Cinderace. Me, what did you expect? I also like to use. Let me think. All of the evolutions in the game. Uh, Absol. So I guess me and Cinderace have similar Let's tastes. Go. <laughs> um, what else? There's something else I use quite often. Oh, I can't think of it right now. It's some, it's some kind of like speedy attacker Pokemon that I can't remember right, right now. I wouldn't know off the top of my head. There's so many of them now. The roster has gotten huge. Yeah, it's probably why I forgot. <laughs> hey, Martin. I don't think I've been able to touch the uh, Pokemon Unite for a while now. Speaking of which, I don't think I've touched it all in the first place. <laughs> I oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Ah. We all need to play that sometime still. You don't need Nintendo Switch Online for it. Yeah, so uh, that should be a fun time. Mm -hmm. And Martin, it's actually free on Switch. If you ask me, that's a better way to play it on Switch rather than phone. Yeah, I can agree. I'll check it out. It might be laggy on phones. I think the Switch is the worst in terms of lag because the menus really? have all... I think the menus have always just not been great. They're so laggy. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's so. I don't know. If, like, at least my phone would, be, would lag like crazy if I tried to play that on my phone. It, it could be like a date date thing, like it's just. You're right. It could be showing its age, and just like the hardware can't keep up. But like Pokemon Unite's a more modern game, so what can you expect? Yeah, the controls are better on Switch for sure, though. They're so much better. So many professional players prefer Switch over phone. That's what I recommend too. All right, Nathan's second question. Uh, where, I just left it. <laughs> if I can do two, well, you have six already. This is my second question. What is your favorite video that you have made? Mine's probably some of the ones I've done skits on, like the ones where I've done, like, oh, Cinderace has brought me cards, or my Sonic Frontiers 1-7 speedrun vids. Those have done well. I'm actually one second away from world record. I could do that after maybe a couple thousand attempts, but it's doable. Or, oh, the quick cuts were fun. I can't wait to do those again when Nintendo starts uploading more directs and, or Pokemon. That'll be fun. Yeah. The quick cuts are fun. They're like one, one two minutes of just pure chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a video you can watch to laugh at for sure. Yeah, it's like, how, uh, what's wrong? Another long day. Turn on a quick cut and start laughing away. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That sort of rhymed. <laughs> it did. It was like a poem about quick cuts. I'm saving that for the next one <laughs> with the description. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Yeah, ones I've done skits, those are pretty fun. Actually, maybe my latest video is pretty fun too, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite because it's just... <laughs> embarrassing. It is for me at least, but <laughs> if I understand if it's someone else's favorite. Anyways, yeah. Okay. Passing the baton, go ahead. All right. So my favorite videos I think that I made are my subscriber specials, just because of how wholesome they are. Like, not even just me, everyone's so happy in those videos. For sure. And what else? And my Pokemon Camp videos, as usual, because those are fun to make, and they're they're funny. That, and that, Go ahead. And that's just, this is just observation, but it also seems to be like a lifeblood of your channel as well. Yeah, Pokemon Pic not Picnic. I keep thinking of Picnic because of the <laughs> new games. Pokemon Camp is like that's my like that's why my channel exists in the first place. I thought like, oh, what if I what if Pokemon could talk to each other in Pokemon Camp? Boom. Video made. Yeah. So <laughs> that's why my channel exists in the first place is to post that content. You're still working on your S V one, right? Like a little bit? Kinda. I was working on something else, but then I thought of another idea. I had a short video idea where I added text over like the cutscene where you find where you get your starter. Mm -hmm. In fact, I can probably do that soon. Actually, no. that'd be a quick video idea. And then I have like the other other ones. My video schedule is kind of all over the place, Mood. and it's not really my fault. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> Mood like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I made that joke last <laughs> night. Let's talk about Martin. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Anyways, Martin, you, you only have one video, correct? Yeah, as of right now. But just to reinterpret the question and make this interesting, if I were to have a favorite video, 
it'd probably be the video where I'm going to. It'd probably be the video where I explain the time my angry eighth grade English teacher chased a kid in a di- an inflatable dinosaur costume. So yeah, <laughs> fun. That's pretty funny. Can't wait to see that. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> Just thinking about it, it's like, what the heck? This will be great. <laughs> yeah, the mental image is great. <laughs> okay, next question uh, from Nathan. This is question three. Do you have shiny Pokemon? And if you do, how many? I have too many to count. <laughs> because most of them are Pokemon going. There's a lot. And I, al- hmm. and I also sh- Sorry, caught, I caught five shiny Vaporeon total in Scarlet Violet, one of which I've already traded away. I'm jealous. <laughs> Just get Nintendo Switch Online all right, so I can give it to you. I want to give it to you. Oh, uh, and Martin. Sorry, it's not my fault. I know it's not your fault. <laughs> Don't apologize. Yeah, Martin, we, I gotta give you yours soon. Uh, Remind me to do that. Okay. I actually, oh yeah, I think I have like a super huge one and a super tiny one. You you can take your pick, but discuss. Like, we can discuss that after. <laughs> okay. Anyways, baton pass. Anyways, um, I have I also have too many shinies to count. I have two boxes full in Pokemon, a sword and shield. Another two boxes in, uh, Legend Arceus. And two shinies in Pokemon Scarlet Violet. So, yeah, that tells you everything you need to know about <laughs> that. I also, my hardest shinies I got, I think, was also Marshmallow. Because, oh gosh, that was tedious. It was worth it, though. And my shiny Moltres, which I got on video. Let's go. On Center News Network. Let's go. That one took two years. Two years <laughs> for a shiny Moltres. Way I can't too tell long. if it was worth it or not. But I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> have you all right your turn yeah i do not have any shinies which is cool <laughs> you'll you'll get there eventually just be yeah as you're going through the world of scarlet violet look carefully at each group of pokemon if there's a difference in one and sometimes you have to look really closely because the difference is so minuscule you'll find it eventually sometimes you may even run into an ax on accident because i I ran into a random shiny skull villain in the wild during my playthrough, and I didn't even expect it. I didn't even I didn't even know what it was. I assumed it was normal, but then I was like, "Oh, it's shiny." Okay. <laughs> I ran into a Pokemon during a terror raid, and I thought it was shiny. When in reality, it was just a gender difference. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Was that Hippowdon? What? Was it Hippowdon or something like that? No, it was something else. But yeah. Oh uh, okay. Yeah, I had a funny incident where I was playing the Switch on the TV, and there was this golden Magikarp flopping around. I, I walked past it like nothing happened, then I w- was like, wait a minute, I did a double take. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Let's That's go the over. second shiny I got. I was afraid that you're going to be able, I was afraid you're going to say something like, but then it went out of render, and then whoops, it despawned. Yeah. Uh, it was more like, wait a minute, and then I was like, oh, that's a shiny, and then, and then my little brother was watching me play, so he was like, oh my gosh, catch it, catch it, catch it, it was a very funny moment. Get the shinies. <laughs> and I got it. Nice. And actually, let's extend on this question. Uh, oh, wait, actually, he he asked another question that relates to this. Uh, what's the hardest shiny you have found? All my Vaporeons. <laughs> Those are so tedious. <laughs> I, three of them, actually, no. Four of them were caught all in the same day. Surprisingly, it was Christmas Day. But yeah, caught all the same day. It was tedious as heck. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I'm only doing that for shinies I really want. So if I find an Umbreon Mass Outbreak, which I have found in the past, but it was super hard to even do. Yeah, but Ice Cues, Kilowatt Trolls, and who knows what else was ruining it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing a shiny dex ever. <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is a madman's goal. <laughs> it would take him until the next game to fill out a shiny dex. Yeah. Way too long. And then, okay, this is what I want to extend upon. Uh, what's your favorite shiny? Your favorite shiny that you... Umbreon. Let's go. <laughs> Despite that... This... Or... Go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead. Or my... Well, actually, my favorite shiny that I have is Marshmallow. But my favorite shiny, like, in general is Umbreon. Yeah, I, I'd have to say it's probably my favorite shiny as well. 
Despite that we're Cinderace fans, we still have our favorites in other respective areas. Yeah. Any favorites for you, Martin? Jokes on you. If you were expecting this, expecting me to say shiny Cinderace, you would be wrong. <laughs> it's shiny. <laughs> it's shiny Dragon Knight. Oh, okay. I don't think I've seen That's like you say Umbreon. That's a cool one. <laughs> like if it was Umbreon, I would have been like, "Let's go." We might, we might as well rename. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look that up. I don't. Think... I, don't I just like the green. Ah, yes, yeah, cool. yeah, green. <laughs> if it's a dragon type, for sure. Yeah, it, makes, it, it fits. It does fit. It looks a bit more like medieval in terms of just design. Now that I'm looking at yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Anyways, next question. Fourth one from Nathan. Out of all your Pokemon plushies, which one is your favorite? That's tough for me, that's for sure. Um, because I have a lot. <laughs> I have if I had to pick a couple favorites, definitely just cherry picking three. My big Cinderace, I've opened that on video. My life size Linton that I've gotten years ago before I even started the channel. And then the Umbreon, which I also opened on video. But I can't pick a favorite from those three. I can't. I like them all. <laughs> my favorite is my Cinderace, of course. The Pokemon Center Cinderace. I was so excited when I opened that one in the mail. And also my life is Cinderace. My whole score winning line collection. I have so many favorites. Um, I think the, Cin the Token Center Cinderace is my favorite. Huh? And my team collection. <laughs> team collection. Still need to finish my team collection. I have a. Actually, I think I have. I would have my team collection. Like if we're not counting the. Eh, if if I'm not counting, like a shiny Cinderace because you know shiny plushes don't exist really <laughs> except Hisui and Zora. Fortunately. Except Hisui and Zora that got one. Really. Yeah. Oh, I had yeah. no idea. Uh, I think that came out during the Christmas season, which is why it's not mentioned. Uh, uh, that's such a good shiny, too. I probably would have wanted it. Well, it might still be out there. I, I can take a look. Let's see. Pokemon. I actually have a Hisuian Zora. Uh, shiny Hisuian Zora. In game? I'm yeah, assuming. I do. I didn't evolve it because I like the blue better. Ah. Oh, wait. I think it was a Japan thing only. Ha! Typical. Ah, uh, uh. come on. I saw this, and you sent me the super fluffy Vivorian plush that I would. Like, absolutely love to have, but no, Japan only. Japan only. <laughs> Wait, they made a fluffy Vaporeon. Yes. And a, and a and and wanted, Jolteon and Flareon. Horribly. And Jolteon and Flareon. Wait, Wait yeah. give me a second. I have a perfect meme for this. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I found it. All right. Is, is it a link or? No, it's an image. Ah. Right there. <laughs> that sums it up. <laughs> the Mr. Incredible meme. <laughs> yeah, it's very true. <laughs> so for those for those who don't know, like the, the Mr. Incredible meme, like one side it's like full color, he's smiling, and then the other side is just monochrome and he's kind of frowning that is a black and white, like a negative thing. The colored side is new plush, the monochrome side is Japan only. That makes so much sense. <laughs> Speaking wait, of I have my own version of this. Sorry. I don't... Wait, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. This is such a recurring okay. theme. <laughs> yeah. Are you doing that by mistake? I'm sorry. That's not your fault. No, um, Okay, the, ha the happy side is like, oh, there's a, there's a Cinderace mascot. The other side is, I'll never get to see it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I want to see it in person so bad. I have some... Oh, okay. Some of my... Go ahead. No, my gosh. No, Mark, go. <laughs> Yeah, no, 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 no. I veto your nah, so go. <laughs> uh, I, what I was gonna say before I let Power go ahead of me was that I don't think I'm, I'm gonna be able to complete my team collection either because, for one, I may even have a full life size team, and one of my team members happens to be Zero Aura, and you know uh, how life size Zero Aura plushies are. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Also, just Completely to answer that question, that was Japan also, only. It was Japan only. Yeah. Also, to answer the question before it completely leaves in my mind, uh, my Abilities score bunny and my life size Lucario. 
Nice. For obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forgot there was a Build a Bear school link. I think that would have been more embarrassing if I did that for a video. I, I literally <laughs> showed, you, showed you mine on cam before. Once was bad enough. <laughs> That's why Pyro <laughs> once was bad enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. I, I ordered mine. Now. You can order them online and just skip the whole, you know. Oh, true. Process. Yeah, just skip the embarrassing, the embarrassing like skit they make you do. I did it for content. Please subscribe. Oh, I don't. <laughs> like, actually, if you've made it this far, congratulations. But I just want to say, on my channel specifically, only ten percent of people are subscribed. Please subscribe. I could be at a thousand right now if we had one third of people subscribe right now. Yeah, seriously, why not subscribe? It is free. We've got amazing content here. It's free, and you can change your mind literally at any point. I don't care. I don't have a say in it. You choose that. We don't. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, we have to let that out. This is YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was I? I lost my place. <laughs> uh, might as well move on then. Uh, okay, last one. Oh, this is a good question, actually. If both of your YouTube channel this is Nathan, by the way. If both of your YouTube channels were deleted, and this includes Perry. He has a YouTube channel now. If both, if all your YouTube channels were deleted, what video would you make? And no re-uploading of old videos. Thanks. I had this question for mounts. Yeah, I, 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 mounts. I don't know what mounts is, but I think you meant for months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm reading it word. Um, if you have, if you want to question me, Nathan, I'm reading it word for word. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alright, go ahead. If my channel is deleted, I would switch it completely to Sonic, honestly. <laughs> I would find an excuse to make more Sonic content. I'd crush. How come? Well, this is just something I had to fall back on. And plus, speedrun videos. If you, if I make a personal best, I can just re-upload that one, and that would not count of an, a re-upload because it's a new record. Okay. Makes sense now. Yeah, and if I had, if, but if I had to keep like a sense of general YouTube channel, definitely would think of just taking a new direction in general. Like maybe I'd still cover Pokemon here to where, yeah. If it could still get tongue twisted, brilliant. I'd still cover Pokemon here and there. Only, if, only if that helped that channel because Sonic would definitely overpower Pokemon in so many ways. It's been proven by algorithms. Anyways, baton pass. <laughs> All right, you you um Cinderland use baton pass. Hey, <laughs> what's my stat boost? Hey. <laughs> um, attack because I feel like that'd be that'd be your stat. Brilliant. <laughs> Won't be mine. Hmm. I'm look this up. Well, special attack. Hey. <laughs> what about mine? We got we got off topic. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Small tangent. <laughs> What's mine? Just curious. Mm, I want to say speed. Good. Yeah, you're right. Actually, mm. that fits me quite well. <laughs> okay. But yeah, let's go back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's what happens when Frank groups talk. Anyways, <laughs> uh, if I had a total refresh on my channel, I would probably like do animations of my Pokemon team, like just being silly and just doing Pokemon stuff, and post it kind of like. Post it kind of like as if I were a Pokemon trainer. So oh. kind of like Pokemon in the real world kind of coming together. If it makes any sense. Ooh, it'd be so good. Like Pat, like Pat, I know I like want to do that so bad in the future. Like Patafoin. Yeah, kind of like that, but as but as if like, but not without like the behind the scenes animation stuff. Like as if this is actually what's happening in the Pokemon world, and I'm posting it like, oh, my Pokemon are doing this today, like that. Yeah. If I. We sh we should do like reacts videos to to like his videos, but I have I'd have to get permission from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be fun though. Yeah. Oh, okay, you know what we should do? Yeah. Probably like a Pokemon what you laugh if you lose or something like that. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good episode. <laughs> That's a great idea. With like Scarlet and Violet glitches. I do have a more advanced editing software now, so I probably could make that work. Nice. Yeah, you laugh and lose, but. Uh, Pokemon Scarlet Violet Glitches Edition is my idea. <laughs> glitch, yes, glitch compilations. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard to laugh, not to laugh with the eye, with the eyeball glitch. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about, right? Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Seriously, what happened in that dev team? <laughs> Yeah. Someone put a boing sound effect with it. It made it even funnier. POV Roblox Little Nas X concert. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> like you know, you know the ones with like the eye, the eye is like popping out. It's it's not as bad as it sounds. Trust me. No. You know, know the one I'm talking, talking about, right? About. I think so. That one. <laughs> they put a boing sound effect with it, and it made it funnier. Someone put a boing sound effect over it <laughs> in the video. We'll do mm-hmm. if I get to it. <laughs> yeah, and really quick, uh, I will. I am gonna link Pat Foyne's channel because it is really generally his Pokemon animations are pretty good, and the Pixel Sonic yes, animations. I'm... Absolutely amazing. Go watch. Yeah, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn French, by the way. <laughs> so we a- ambitious comment, but hey, maybe we could practice. <laughs> I could practice. A yeah. Bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. Moving on. Our okay, new people. That's all of Nason's. Uh. Jeremiah. Oh wait, wait. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I answered that question. Oh, yeah, you didn't. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Yeah. To be honest, this is gonna sound incredibly random. Like, <laughs> uh oh. What? Dang it! You're making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> If I go for the and not the animation, I'd probably be able to, like, a uh, satire YouTube, that oh, that one satire YouTube channel that, like, does everything in the lowest quality possible, and it ends up actually doing well because it's supposed to be intentionally low quality. Like, say I post a, a, a drawing tutorial that's titled, Welcome back to drawing tutorial. Today we are drawing Spog Bob from Nickelodeon, oh. and it's just a really poorly drawn SpongeBob in MS Paint. That'd be kind of funny. It's basically, that you should do that for your one of your meme videos. April Fool's. April Fool's video. April, yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Yeah. This is so fun. Yeah, we got. If if we get more if we get more gravity on this show, we gotta do a larger Q and A. For sure, we, this is a blast. We, we need like twenty questions then. <laughs> Though I get for the sake yeah. of this video, uh, I will say now: if you want to put additional Q and A comments, go right ahead. We'll answer them. We'll prop. We'll maybe we'll reply to you, <laughs> or I'll give you a heart to say the least. Any uh, the YouTube comment heart. Uh, next, let's move on, shall we? Uh, from Jeremiah, he's frequent on this channel. How you doing, buddy? What What is your favorite thing to do? I have a lot of things I could say, honestly. I could say making videos for you guys, uh, playing games. I could say, uh, opening cards. I just think, thinking of stuff. Really, my favorite thing to do is drawing. It's a lot of fun. This, this when I picked up the skill, I just couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop, and now I'm trying out new styles. Like I mentioned before, I'm working on uh, learning Sonic's Uwakawa art style and adapting it to Pokemon. I think it's gonna look really cool after some more practice. Yeah, it already looks good now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to take a look. Uh, Real quick, I, I'm going to stop posting my drawings on the community post because I'm afraid of, like, you know, uh, maybe someone grabbing it, probably claiming it as their own, despite that of a watermark. So uh. you can, f- but I'll still use them for thumbnails, and thankfully those are personalized. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see my drawings, jump on the Discord server or go follow me on Twitter. You'll be able to access those and enjoy them at your leisure quite easily. All right, baton pass. Attack raised. <laughs> Plus two. All right. Wait, don't you mean speed? Because it's me. Oh, yeah. Dang it. <laughs> I'm slow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there's a lot of things I like to do. Um, One of the things I really like to do is, like, taking things from my imagination and somehow making it in reality, like drawing, uh, making plushies, editing videos. That's one of the main things I like to do is using my imagination for stuff. 
Um, I also like playing Pokemon games. I enjoy... What else? I enjoy being active. And that's everything that I, that I can think of at the moment. But there's a million thousand things I like to do. So, yeah. Baton pass. Uh, special attack raised. <laughs> Wait, me or... Okay, yeah, your turn. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say I have a pretty wide variety of things I like to do. Uh, for one, if you look at my YouTube channel, I'm an animator. Uh, for those of you who don't clearly know who I am, and I'm pretty sure there's still a few of you in the audience, not to alienate or anything, but I'm just saying... <laughs> I also am a pretty adamant uh, writer, or well, not exactly a writer, but a world builder because I like, uh, you know, making my own stuff, more specifically my own characters, not like in a random and spontaneous way, but more so in a streamlined story way. Uh, I have a goal in life, and that's to uh, hopefully start an animated series one day and hopefully go public with it once it does reach a certain level of popularity. Or, well, once I figure things out, I have not, uh, game-wise, I like, I am in a, uh, a lot of uh, fandoms, Pokemon being, obviously being one of them, uh, let's see, I also like Sonic as similar, similar ones, uh, naming, na just naming every fandom I'm in at the top of my head, I'd say I'm in I can, that I can remember right now. I'd say I consider myself as a Pokemon, Sonic, uh, Avid Plants vs. Zombies, Minecraft, Roblox, and the Toho Project fan. So yeah, I'm in a lot of stuff. Plants also, I like to draw. Cool. But hey, by my name, by looking at my name, I think that's already obvious. Yeah. Your parry draws. Who told you I draw? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what we should call you now. <laughs> Your name's Perry Draws. Yeah, plant. Who told you I draw? <laughs> <laughs> Your channel name. I know rhetorical question. Anyways, yeah, Plants vs Zombies. That's an older game. I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. Genuinely. Yeah, I've been in the franchise for a stupidly long time now. Oh yeah, not to mention I also like. Uh, the uh, Bloons Tower Defense series by Ninja Kiwi. Uh, you know, yeah. the game where monkeys throw darts up wounds. Classic. <laughs> yeah, those ones. I'm probably going to make a rhetorical video on that just out of satire. I played Me way... debunking the logic of the game. I played way too much of that game during my elementary school years. <laughs> ah, mood, because I did the same. Indeed, mood. <laughs> ah, back when Flash was still a thing. I miss it. Rip. I missed out on all this stuff. Uh, it should be accessible somewhere. I, I know people still play it. Not like on emulators. I'm pretty sure, yeah. There's, uh, the games are... I'm pretty sure the newer games you can find pretty easily on Steam. I have it downloaded. Or, I have a BTD6 downloaded already. Oh, uh, true. Well, if that goes free, I'm getting that. <laughs> you should. It's a fun game. Is it free? Not yet. Well, fudge. <laughs> it is cheap, though. Like, last time I remember, I think I bought it for like five or six dollars. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> moving so, yeah. Yeah, moving on. Uh, win one, lose ten. Okay, shout out to this person. He helped me get into that Masters 2000 from the sum during the summer. Shout out to you, man. You're a legend. We got we got to play together sometime. We got to play again together if I can make the time. Hopefully. May, well, maybe during the summer. Maybe I'll grind another season. Who knows? Like right when the season kicks off, I get I get my group back together. We get going. I do have a unite group. Quite a few of them, but it's <laughs> it's hard to get a full Q and five Q. I forgot what you call it. Full lobby. Let's go full lobby. But. Yeah, when, when will it lose ten? Uh, any thoughts on a potential Scarlet Violet slash DLC slash upgraded version? I'm for it. <laughs> uh, the frame rate's starting to bother me, honestly. And DLC would be nice because mm -hmm. 
there is a lot of just random islands with nothing on them. There's even islands in the distance, which some people are speculating is downloadable content for the future, but time will tell. So I'm for it. And if there's more Pokemon that get added, like, I don't know, Litten or Absol, or that'd be great. <laughs> I need those. I need them. Anyways, but don't pass. <laughs> I am also all for it. Like, I would love them to add more Pokemon, uh, more stories, more things to do in general. Even though there's already a lot to do in Scorpion and Violet, um, I'm not. I know the glitches are a problem and they should be fixed, but I'm not complaining about that much anymore. I find them more humorous now, if I'm honest. Even though they should be fixed, I just don't complain a lot. Yeah. It's very likely to. I think it's very likely that they will make a DLC. Yeah. It, 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 prob it, at least the frame should be fixed. If that gets fixed... Yeah, I like think... in certain areas, it's really bad. Yeah. Martin, what do you think? Uh, I'm all for it as well. I'm not too nitpicky about this because any DLC is fine with me. I guess if they ever do somehow add zero aura to this game i'd have my entire team with me hey yeah i hope so sounds great yeah they added victini back in pokemon so shield so it's possible uh, yeah they gotta nice. get all the legendaries in there <laughs> so it, it's wait isn't it a mythical uh yeah the zero aura is a mythical uh, yeah I, I think we're all in agreement that we, we need some new stuff to at, at least fix the frames. <laughs> yeah. At that very minimum. And that might be enough, because bare minimum can be good. <laughs> and then our... I think that covers it for all questions that are geared for everyone. The rest, I believe, are specifically for in, in, individually. So I can think of five... Yeah, there's there's five that I can think of. So I'm gonna start with one of them, one I received on Twitter here. Give me just a moment. All right, from Cinder Yigoy. I don't know how you pronounce that. How do you how did you get how did you get do good at drawing? I don't know what that means. <laughs> how did you get do good at drawing? What? <laughs> what what do you mean? It's what do you mean? It's it means how do you get do good at drawing? <laughs> <laughs> Just reading it out loud is funny. <laughs> Sorry, dude. What do you mean? It means how do you get too good at drawing? <laughs> I think it's a typo. Maybe even, how did you get too good at drawing? I don't know how he meant to write it. Uh, uh, practice, practice, practice until my hand was sore, basically. <laughs> that that's ba that's it summed in a nutshell. Just keep on practicing, and you'll eventually get really you'll eventually get good at it. Next one I have for Pyro, it's from Eon99. What if Pyro made a song about how much he hated quote unquote fan art? Oh gosh, okay. So, so I kind of separate myself from the whole like fan art thing now. I, I feel like a lot of people knew, knew me for that and I kind of don't like how that's what people know me for. Not anymore, but that's how it was in the past. I want to focus more on wholesome content, such as Pokemon camp videos. I don't know. I'm trying to separate myself from that. But if he did, then I guess it'd be funny, but also, like, uh, I'm not sure. I can't sing. <laughs> so if I went to voice fire, then it'd probably be very bad singing. But it might be funny. Who knows? Yeah. And then, <clears throat> actually, one, one I'd like to... One I've been curious for Martin... Uh, how, what was your inspiration for Broken Lens? Why did you, what, how did you conceive the idea in the first place? Ah, uh, this is actually a pretty, pretty ni nice one. Okay, so hear me out. As in response to a previous question. Uh, okay, so basically, as you may know, I'm in a lot of fan bases. The main inspiration for Behind Broken Lens is basically, well, for the most of it, it's basically a toho. 
in other words, I really like Toho. But if you were to further dive in, there's some aspects that they've also taken inspiration from, mainly uh, Steven Universe. And I think there's also a bit, few more, a lot of more tidbit, a lot of, I mean, a lot more uh, miscellaneous ones in there. Uh, but yeah, for the main aspects of it, I'd say just a lot of Toho and a mix of Steven Universe in there. Okay. All right. I can definitely see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Also, I have a joke later. I gotta tell you. Okay. After recording. Sounds good. And the okay. This is the second to last one I have. If I can find it again, because I keep losing my place. Uh, from Cinderace Propaganda. That shout out to you. That's from Twitter. Uh, Cinder Litton, how long how long on average does it take you to complete a drawing? Average three to four hours. That includes sketching, line line art, and coloring. May maybe five to six if it's like a super detailed one or what I'm trying to be ambitious with. Like the Uakawa one, I think that took me roughly four hours because it was still just one character, it just learning a new style, but it wasn't that difficult in the long run so yeah <laughs> and then the last one for pyro uh how would his okay this is how i see it how his fellow campmates react to him going full on terror mode bring sunglasses <laughs> probably be very very fascinated because wait i'm a, anyone who um saw my community post recently is going to get the answer to it early Pyro's terror type is actually fairy type. Oh. I made a community post about that recently, if you saw it, Cinderlin. I don't think I saw that, no. It's a, I... um, it's a, like a boat. Oh, is... like, I put different types. Oh, that's what the poll was. <laughs> Wait, I have a perfect joke for this. Go for it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm gonna comment it instead. <laughs> don't worry. Alright. I'll make that, um... Community post, like announcing it later, but anyone who watches the new network got the answer early. Anyways, oh. they probably be very fascinated and had no idea what it is mm -hmm. because they live in Galar, so that'd probably be very interesting. Though I, though I gotta ask, though, what's the inspiration for the fairy type? Is it like the friendship mechanic thing or something? Yes, it's because Pyro is a friendship syndrome. He evolved because of friendship, so they kind of affected him in many ways. Uh. So, not only his appearance with his pop has. Also, with his typing, his his uh, terror typing, which is uh, which is something that his trainer had no idea about until they took a trip to Aldea. Epic. And I do think that is the last of them. Uh, any questions you want to throw around just just before we close? Um, not really. Yep, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think we'll end it there. One thing I do want to mention, though, I accidentally forgot to mention this, is that we I redid our logo. If you, you can probably tell by the thumbnail, is that we do have a new logo. Yep. Pretty excited about that. I basically just used our old one as a base and went from there, but it's mostly the same, just more detail. Yeah, it looks a lot better. Yeah, it's just more refined. It's polished. But yet, that is going to do it for this episode of Cinder News Network. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, and and most importantly, subscribe because I'm 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 on a plateau. My channel's at a plateau. <laughs> Deserves it. Subscribe. Subscribe yeah. to Perry Draws too. Subscribe to everybody. You have to subscribe to all three right now. That is your New Year's resolution. I control it. Your New Year's resolution is to subscribe to everyone and make sure we all get to a thousand by the end of this year. Got it? Do it. Please. Wait. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I had to make that joke. We need subscribers. You guys are funny. We need them. You guys are funny. I try. <laughs> yeah, thank you all so much again. We will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.